Uh. Ah, damn. Morning. Ugh. Sorry about that. Just trying to give me a drink. Uh, it's the Badge Course 57 back here again. We are going to be doing some more Prey. You know what? I like the game a lot. And from where I left off last time in the Neuromod Division to now, this is, I literally just went through the door. I cleared out a few of the enemies up ahead already, just because I know they're a pain in the ass to take out all together. So what I did was I cleared out a few of the enemies up ahead. That way I don't have to really have trouble about it. So I also did a little looting around. And as I said in the last one, which was the demo, this is the official game, by the way. So be prepared because this might be an ongoing series I might have on the channel. So um, I did do a little looting around the area. And yeah, it, I mean... Right now, I'm actually really liking this game. It's a little bit different from what I used to play. I used to play like a lot of Skyrim and Fallout 4. And I also did some stuff around with the, my video recordings and shit. So hopefully this time around, it's a little bit better. Um, Yeah, dude, they're not saving you. And I also figured out how to zoom in on people's faces, which is... Oh, man, dude, your face is fucked. I can't help you. Um, yeah, no, but I did a little bit of searching around. I got me a new shotgun. I got me a Tesla coil laser gun of some sort. I don't really know. Um, my big goal for this episode is to try to get the video, watch the video, because I have not watched that yet. There's a big review, reveal. And that will explain how I got the code to open the safe. Um, yeah, I cleared out this area. I mean, there's five mimics that would be right here. And there's a, a phantom that would sit, like, over here somewhere. So, be very careful if you play this game through the first time. Um, also, let me just show you exactly. You go down through the stairs, you come up and around here, and you see this little area it's kind of like a market a store market there's a neuromod right here in the shelf and in here if you hit this thing three times with your wrench one two three you know it pops open a safe which has a neuromod in it and two recycling charges so that's really good to have right off the back to take out those five so that'll be something to know um from this so far, I have not got too far into the story. I mean, I only played up till where the demo ended. So right now, as far as I could tell, I'm in some form of space. I Like, I think, like, that's the moon. I'm pretty sure that's the moon. And, yeah, it looks like I'm in space. So what happened last time was apparently I was um, being truman if you don't know what that means, my whole life was just a series of events that kept being redone over and over and over again. And eventually it came to a point where there's an incident in the lab. <coughs> ah, shit, sorry about that. There was an incident in the lab, and what happened was these creatures got out and started to kill everyone. And I was left alive. For unknown reasons probably wasn't gonna be bothered now I escaped my prison and now Hello. I am nice to see you nice to see you too um, now I'm just trying to explore and see why I did this to myself or who did this to me to be more accurate dude you gotta be careful that's fire it um, I really haven't got this far into the game so far, and I know many people I've watched too, they haven't got this far into it either. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this through all the way. I really want to if I don't even put it up on the video. Oh, man, dude. So, if you guys want me to give you um, a little hint, in order to get the keypad for this guy over here, which is going to be my first time opening it, because last time, this door was not open for me. This was not open. So, but it's open now. 
and you get the key or the code through I think it's files I like to say but you download the files make sure you transfer them all just for more lore or background behavior test I don't know it was somewhere around this area there's like a key card or um, a file you picked up on a computer um, and over here if you guys don't know this is like a um, this is the test you get right at the very beginning when you start testing and everything goes afraid um, Yeah, so uh, Switch tracks um, the whole test was basically about the trolley Where to see where you are in your psychology and all that and basically what happens is there's five people on one side of the track and two and one person on the other side and what happened um, there's a train Maybe barreling down you. the tracks okay yeah shut up uh, there's a train barreling down the tracks and you can't warn them but you have a switch that you can control to either a kill one person or B kill five I have to go recycle real quick but you know this is basically to test where you stand and what's your morality you know um, and most people tend to say, well, numbers outweigh, you know, qual quantity outweighs, you know, quality. So at this rate, you know, you would save the five people over to one, which is actually kind of a big deal. I mean, if you really want to think about it. And then you have a different one. It's a where, well, there's five people on one. Tr no, there's just five people on one track. And there's a fat guy staying right beside you and there's a trolley coming and you can't stop the trolley you can't warn them either they're all deaf so either a you can let the trolley just you know run up and crush them or B you can push the fat guy onto the tracks and it basically kills the fat guy but stops the trolley and people will usually they tend to switch their answers and say do nothing it's because the whole fact the reason here's where I have to go to watch the video I'm not doing that yet um, um hold on people usually tend to switch it because they don't like the whole fact of uh, actually getting physically involved into something which is weird for them you know they much rather stay hands off I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but still, at the same time, it's a thought experiment. You kind of have to think. Are you here for an appointment? And then there's a final part where it's My like, mistake. okay, get out of my way, dude. Um, there's a final part where it's like, well, would you jump on the tracks yourself? Okay, please stop that. You know, to save the five people, but you die. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff to that thought experiment, and it's a really cool thought experiment. It's, it goes down into your psychology, Hello. and Good basically you get to think you. about it and see how you actually work. Um, basically, the vibe I'm getting from this game, it's going to be a psychological horror game, which is pretty interesting. And telling by some of the psychology references around here, it's going to be really good. These are the inch blocks. <laughs> inch blocks ink blotch test that you see and usually they're used for psychology to see what uh, you actually see through them like some people would say uh, well, let me find a better picture of that one there's one around here okay like this one you know some people would say that this may look like a butterfly or this may look like a face or you know if you look at it upside down it may look like a valley or a ravine or even a forest of some sort there's many different things you can get from these ink blotch tests and it's pretty interesting what people come to when they see this stuff I mean if you want to I really want to see what you guys see in this ink blotch right here I mean write down in the comments below that way I could be a little bit more active with you guys and you know have a little fun I would really like to find out what you guys see in this picture you know just one or two words It'd be great. Now, I did get the code for the lat, um, for this guy over here. So I'm gonna 
I know I'm gonna regret this, so I'm gonna get my shotgun out just just in case, you know? And oh wow, that was a kinda of confusing code. Eight four four. Um as I said, nope, not what I wanted to do. Not what I wanted to do. Eight six four four. Alright, there we go. Um Okay. Oh my god! Dude! Okay, that was not expecting. What? The fuck does this mean? Diveries. Ovaries? I don't fucking know what that means. Okay. Okay, so this guy just straight up fucking blew up. I'm not saying that's disturbing, I'm just saying that's very fucking metal. Metal. Um. I'm gonna just lock that again just in case he somehow Hello, resurrects nice himself. I do not want to question it. Hey, dipshit. Come here. Come here. Diagnosing. Looks like you've had a rough day. I'll have uh, you feeling better soon. Good as thank new. you. Please thank you. Please fill out a patient experience right. questionnaire so I can serve you better next time. Now, um... Oh, no, I can't open that yet. I don't exactly know the code or the key card for that. Um, as I said, I... Explore this thoroughly, so I know how to get over to this, uh... Fuck. Oh, close. Staff Lounge, I know how to get over here. And you have to jump on a ledge right here. You know, and climb up through here, and be careful. Jump up and over. Now, right when you get over here, you'll see, like, a weird-ass little vase just chilling right in the middle. That's a mimic. You want to kill that guy right off before he, you know, goes berserk and tries to kill you. Um... So there's no more mimics in, wait, yeah, there's no more mimics in this room right here, but here, see that stool right there? Mimic. Ah, fuck. Fuck off, mimic. Okay, there's five mimics in this room. And I'm going to be seeing mimic a lot, so it's going to start sounding weirder than shit. There's another mimic over there where that soul's laid down. There's mimic right there. <laughs> As I said, I played this game thoroughly, so I kind of studied how these fuckers work. Okay, yeah, nothing there. Try to get stealth kill on this guy. Aha! Weren't expecting that, were you, jackass? I know there's more in here, but I'm, like, right now, I'm just trying to be careful. I don't want to get too crazy about this shit, so. Ah, fuck, I got a lemon. Um. Okay, there's a recycler. Pfft. Stuttering. There's a recycler right there. Okay, yeah, there's not. Maybe I miscounted. I think there may be only three here. Uh, international Arts. I'm not reading all the way through that. I'm sorry. I, I really suck at reading, so... Me reading would be doing this game harm. Oh, you son of a goddamn motherfucker! Okay, he's retarded. I mean, stupid. Sam, you can't say what you told it. Come here, asshole. God damn. Little bastards jump. God damn, just die, dude. It's four. Four mimics. I fucking knew there was something weird with that fucking couch. He copied this damn thing right here, which pisses me off. Because not only can you not, like, not mind your own fucking business, but you don't have to worry about these little bastards popping out of everything. There's one... Nope. Nope. Is there only... Yeah, there's only four here. Huh. I thought there was more, but... Apparently not. My mistake. My mistake. But still, these little bastards, they're easy to kill. They're just really fucking annoying. Like... There's no describing how fucking annoying these little bastards are. Oh yeah, let's get some of those exotic materials in here. 
fucking gotta have these, you know. Um, I know there's um, later on you can build more than just something's weird here. No, okay. Um, you can build more than just a regular old. Uh... Ooh, there we go. Transcribe. Let's listen to that. Are you on your way? On my way where? Octavia, didn't you see the alert? We're supposed to muster. Listen, it's really sweet that you're worried about me, but we've had alerts before, and I've got three more of these glorified vacuum cleaners to fix before my shift is over. Oh, make that four. Someone dropped off another. God, these things are junk. I don't think this is a drill, Octavia. I'm sending you the code. Please, come to the escape pods right now. Well, it looks like that damn vacuum cleaner was more important than, you know, your life, so. Oh, God damn, lady. Only if you would have listened, you know. Yeah, no. The, the little mimics, you if you catch them right off the back, you usually get the most damage out of them. It's just, it's fucking annoying when you're, like, sitting there, like, you know, trying to you know, do something actually productive with the whole thing, and, you know, it fucks you over because there's a mimic that pops on the nowhere. It's like, surprise, dickhole. It's like, God damn it, motherfucker. So, that's what pisses me off the most. What is that? Is that... Oh, that's a weapons upgrade kit. Um, oh, I cannot split that. So, I'm trying to decide, do I want to put more... You know what? I want my shotgun just in case. Um... Menu, upgrade. Yes. Nice. Okay, so we got that part. Okay, now I haven't opened this door yet over here. And I... I'm trying to decide if I want to open it or not. Because I know what's on the other side. There's two of those little, uh... To the fucking phantoms over there, right in a row. So what I want to do is I'll probably, if I can, jump over, jump over, s skirt across, and I want to get, a, no, not here, uh, up one. I want to get the handgun over here, but I also want to get some more ammo. Because right now I'm at 14 shells. It's kind of hard to see it, but, I mean, on my screen it shows me I have 14 shells left, so. Can I make more shotgun shells, please? Yes, I can. Let's do it. I think you make, I'd like to see either 5 or 10 at a time. 12. You make 12 at a time. Okay, okay. So, that's always good to know. And, something over here is broken. I don't exactly remember. I did something with this yesterday. And I don't exactly remember what the hell I did with it. I just know you can do something with it. Uh. No. Is that not it? Is that not it? Um, I wish I knew what was inside here. I think it's one of those engineers. Engineer operators, which would really be great to have around. But if not... You know, it's whatever. No, I think I have the code for this guy. No, I don't. Um. Yeah, this is probably, this is going to be a little bit slower than what I thought it was. I thought I had the code for him, but apparently I didn't. I know, I, I know there's a code around here you can get almost right off the back. I don't want to hit that because I know that will trigger it to explode. Kobe. Ha <laughs> ha. Made it. But. Um. God damn it, you son of a bitch! Fuck! You! There it is. Ha! <sighs> God damn, motherfucker. You see that? It's knocked over. There we 
we go. I don't even know what the hell these are. I think either A, they're casino. Okay, um, I'm over by the bathroom section now. So, uh, I don't want to go through there yet. I Psychotronics lab. I know there's narrow mods in there. I know there's narrow mods in there for sure, and I really want to get in there too. Yep, yep, I figured you son of a bitch. Fucking die, you motherfucker. God damn, I hate those little bastards. It's not even the fuck that they're bad. They're just fucking annoying. Like that. Like fucking that. I can't even fucking hit them because I can't even see them. God damn, dude. Just learn to fuck off. It really is annoying. I'm like, I'm not even gonna try and lie. These little bastards just... Yep. Oh, fucking hell. Fuck that shit. You know what? I'm just gonna have my glue gun. I'm just gonna... Oh, great. He fucking... Freeze, bitch. God damn. Fuck you both. The goo gun is really fucking good against these guys. Well, it's good against any of them, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't like the narrow mod things. The, they're kind of weird and freaky, which is sounds funny, but if you understand how that they were used, not exactly the best idea in the world. So, if you want me to explain a little bit further, how the narrow mods are used is they have these weird ass little needles. They go right between your eye, like, right by the bridge of your nose, and it's just not the safest idea, you know? I mean, yeah, they're probably sterile and shit, but, I mean, to be honest, that would not be something you would do. Okay. Is there... I don't think there's one in here. Is there? No. Ah, oh, god damn it. I don't really want to try this, I know there's one around here. Yeah, I'm kind of paranoid because I know these little bastards jump out at you. And it's not the funnest thing in the world either. I'll take that. I'll just keep my wrench out, turn off my light, because I don't need it for... Wait, do I need it? I... Uh, yep. I can't do anything, I have to fucking recycle again. Right there. That little bastard right there. What? The fuck? Okay, is there seriously not one in here? Come on. Yep. Nope, there was. My question is, where the fuck did they come from? Yeah, bitch, burn on fire, you cunt. Yeah, you don't like fire, do you? Okay, I just hit him and he just straight up evaporated on me. Um. Wait, did the other one actually die? Okay, am I safe? Uh, I don't understand these little bastards. They're freaky if you if they catch you off guard. It's just, I don't understand why these damn things are so stupid. Of course, I'm being stupid to myself. I have to fucking recycle again. God damn it. 
Recycling obviously becomes a problem in this game. Um, oh yeah, by the way, if you want the sh- Damn, dude, you are fucked. Nermon, 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 Nermon. Ooh, yes. Suit repair kits. Nice. Um, to get into here, there's a shotgun actually in here. So, I'm going to show you exactly how to get into there real quick, too. There's two ways. There's a code you have to find, which is not really the best of ideas. But there's our one right out here. I want to see if I can. Nope, no? Okay. Yeah, you have to jump up on here and crouch. Crouch, come on. Basically, you climb up over here, and God damn, so much crouching. It's annoying. Um, but I understand why. Basically, you go through here, and that's how you open up the door. So, and just a little pointer out. Oh yeah, I might want to. What? Oh why? God damn it! I don't have enough. Um. The code for this safe, believe it or not, is actually right here. If you see Judges 526, that's actually 0526 that goes to this safe right here. So, for this one, uh, it's a holding room. I'm trying to remember exactly what the code is. I actually typed it up on my phone, believe it or not. So, um,. Ah, it was 11.29. Okay. There's one chair too many in here. There's one chair too many. Okay. Maybe not one chair. What? You actually picked him up? Okay. Now that's a new one. Um, stolen neural mods. That's a new objective. So that might be something I look at. Just because of the stolen neural mods. I mean, yeah, it doesn't seem like much, but neural mods are the rare for me right now. <laughs> to believe it, to say. They are rare for me. Okay. Uh, I already have the trauma center locked, unlocked. So I'm trying to remember how to... Was there... No. Um... I'm trying to remember. Do I have to go over here? Here. I want that pistol. I really want that... Hold on. Before I do that, here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna go over here, do more recycling, and probably build some more shells. Move all my junk, and then recycle, and then, yeah. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send this, okay, my, my phone is being blown the fuck up. I'm gonna turn this down. Yeah, my phone. Um, I actually have Rick and Morty, uh, Rick's uh, Love Love dubbed up. So, yeah. If you guys haven't watched Rick and Morty yet, I'm kind of a. Ch I'm kind of ashamed of you. It is a fucking great show. I would suggest you know anyone watch it. Like, do not fray away from watching it. It's a show on Adult Swim, and it deserves more respect than what it gets. Um, I'm trying to look at my notes. Okay, yeah, that's IT department. Uh, do do do. Well, it looks like I'm not gonna be able to have. Oh yeah, I could probably throw a. Do I have a recycler grenade? Okay, I'll throw one right there <laughs> god damn if you guys do not know the recycler grenade yeah there's a trophy for that if they suck you in and kill you I'm gonna open this up then I'm gonna watch the video 
and that will probably round it out for the video. Uh, do, do, do. It's zero, nine, one. I keep losing it. Three. There we go. Okay. I already do not like these. Okay, there's one phantom. Ah, oh, goddamn it! Straight freeze, bitch. Where did I ever want to go? Die, you son of a bitch! Whew. <laughs> I'm just eating all the food I can right now. I'm not. I'm not trying to use my health packs because I know they're gonna be rare to have. Ooh, yes, a neuromod. Ooh, and I also got a thermite shield. Thermal shielding. All right, I'll apply that there. Nice, nice. So right now we're actually getting farther than I like. So I like this. Ooh, and another spare parts. This is good. This is good. Authorized personnel only. Do I have the card? For God damn, I still do not have the card for that. Um. Yeah, no. Here's what I want to do. Can I recycling charge? I want to... Just take a quick look around, see if there's any cabinets or anything I can loot. Jinx always can have those. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Alright. I think we got everything out here. For now. I'm going to check over here, then I'm going to watch the video. Oh, is this where I get the crossbow? I think this is where I get the crossbow. I'm not too f No, is this? I don't think this is. Um, okay, yeah. I think there may be one or two of those little sacks of shit in here. Okay, uh... No, this is where I get the key card. Take that. Where are you? You're not fucking getting away from me, you little shit. These little guys, they actually give you, um... Exotic materials, by the way. Oh, nice, I got me an art chip I can install. Uh, ooh, this one, I'll install that. I don't even know what that does, but hey, who cares? Good morning. I'm not reading through that. Uh, forward thief. I'm not a thief. I don't know what you're talking about. See, if there's no one alive, no one's a thief, right? Ooh, darts. Foam flex darts. Okay. God damn it, I want to get to the cro- I want to get the crossbow, because I know that will help me progress a little bit farther. Um, there is a crossbow in this game, by the way. Oh yeah, I might want to grab my recycles that I actually threw. I already read that. Um, I cannot lift that. Oh, wait. What is this? Oh, this is the other side of the that thing over there where I first saw it came in. All right. So, come on, crouch. Let's go. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to watch the video of me, and then af after that... I'll probably end the video here and put this up. So this might take me a day or so to get this uploaded, but um, I can't go there yet. I, 
Hopefully by next time, I'll have the pis the pistol. There is a pistol in here. I really want to get it uh, right there. So, actually, there's two. I wish I could. Ooh, I wonder if I can dual wield them. That'd be awesome. So, I'm going to hopefully get that by next time along with the cr So, that would be beneficial to have. I mean, also, if you guys like this video, please leave a like, subscribe. You know, it would really do this channel some good and right now since, you know, YouTube's acting all weird. Not really the best of ideas to have. Uh, do, do, do. I will build some more glue canisters. I'll watch the video real quick right now. Give me that. Give me, give me, give me, give me gumdrops. All right, now let's do this. Ah, oh, there's the... I was so fucking stupid. There's the car key. All right, I'll get the... Yeah. P... Dos. The Fermi's Paradox. Aha. Uh, real quick, the Fermi's Paradox is if there was a... A thousand planets with, or a thousand suns, but each had a thousand planets, you know, and each planet had, like, you know, life forms on it. The chances of us actually communicating with them, it, like, there's a really cool paradox. I would really suggest check it out. Please, actually. Fermi's, it's, uh, goddamn, I actually don't know how to spell it. F E F E A A. F F E M M E for me, I think. Hello, Morgan. Tough day, right? If I'm talking to myself, it must be. Your memory shot full of holes, I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the type and organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process that brings you back up to speed between test runs. But someone could just skip that part. Turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? You're not going to like what I have to say next. Who is it? No, I, I kind of have a feeling that you're going to be the bad guy of the story, not those damn aliens. Anywho, you know what? If you guys like this this type of content, I'm actually going to probably put up the full gameplay of this on my trailer. Or on my, on my actual game. So, we got a lot of stuff we gotta do for next round, so, you know what, I'm also gonna show you this little part too. If you break these windows or doorways, basically, there is something over here, which, you know, I'm gonna check out later on. But in the meantime, you guys like this video, leave a like on it, subscribe, I'm probably gonna be doing one or two, you know what, I'm probably gonna do the full series on this channel, you know? If you guys like it, ah, oh, fuck you, Mimic. You guys have a good rest of your day. Ciao.